Okay, you guys, um, I'm gonna tell you why I'm so happy, you know, why I'm you know, in a relatively good mood. Um, so my, my, um, dad, you know, gave me a piece of, piece of good news. And, um, you know, it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's uh, um, excellent for my mom. Um, <clears throat> so you, you remember I told you that there was a deba whole debacle with our health insurance, um, with her health insurance at none. And, um, you know, that thankfully the, um, my mom's um, doctors, administrators, nurses, and what have you over at her um, current hospital were very persistent. They were, you know, they worked very hard, you know, to help my mom out. They were, you know, like like I said, they again, they were very persistent, worked very hard to help my mom. And, um, you know, like, like I said, I have, I have nearly a bad word about neither um, the New Milford Hospital nor Danbury Hospital here in Connecticut. Um, they have, um, they've had the, the best care teams assembled for my mom and, and stuff like that. Even her, uh, regular doctors, like her regular, you know, physician, her, um, you know, like her primary care doctor and other doctors, um, they're, they're all pretty good. Her health, whole health care team is very good. Yeah, they've, uh, you know. <clears throat> always taking care of her, always, you know, kept an eye on her, they've always, you know, followed up with her and stuff like that. And, you know, even Milford Hospital and Danbury Hospital have been very good people. They've taken great care of my mom. And, um, you know, this is, I believe it's tomorrow. Okay, so t again, tomorrow is her last day of receiving the antibiotic, I believe. So tomorrow she will be off, all set with that, and um, you know her the uh, very rigorous infection she had should be you know finished, finished off by tomorrow afternoon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so it's by tomorrow afternoon it should be all finished. She should be all finished with the. Um, antibiotic and, you know, all clear to go, get going. Um, not home, though. That's kind of, kind of bad news, but here's the good part. Like I said, um, her health care team over at the D Danbury Hospital, like I have said, as I've mentioned, they've been very good with her. They've been, they've worked very hard to, again, like I said, help her, you know, give her good care, you know, take take very good care of her, keep an eye on her and all that. And, you know, they told her that she would have to go to Belfield Health Care for, you know, a short-term stay to rebuild her strength and stuff. And um, I, if you remember I told you there's, there was like a whole um, debacle about that. Um, it was kind of like nobody wanted to help her with that and stuff. And nobody would tell her what you know was was going on, really. Um, Cause she was also assuming that she might have to um, do a visiting nurse thing here here at home, um, which wouldn't have been a bad thing. It wouldn't. Have, it honestly wouldn't have. My dad would have just had to take some time off and maybe you know work with mom as well as the visiting nurse. Thankfully, good news finally came. Bethel Healthcare called me, you know, the house first. So I gave my dad the, you know, administrator's, administrator's phone number and he got in contact with her. And then, um, you know, he told me that he, you know, they finally got her all set with that, you know, for a three day stay. So I, I, um, Put out some some outfits for her on on the bed, you know. Spread it out, some outfits on the bed for um, dad to look over, make sure it's all, all good, and then um, you know he'll pack it up for her. 
for a three day, I think it's like a two, three day stay over at, um, over at, uh, the Bethel Healthcare this coming weekend, which was a very good sign. So I think, you know, like I said, she probably just has to wait out the antibiotic, you know, final antibiotic course tomorrow and then probably go over on Friday, I'm guessing, come home either Sunday or Monday from Bethel Healthcare, which is good. You know, they just got to, like, help her rebuild her strength a bit more. You know, she's been walking around a little bit here and there. You know, so they got her started on that at the hospital. You know, they had her getting up and walking around a, bit, a little bit here and there. So that's that's a good thing. And um, like I said, they finally got her. Their insurance finally approved her for a three-day stay over at Bethel Health, which will definitely help her regain her her um, strength for coming home for good. <sighs> Again, this was a whole debacle, a whole path, and I wanted to share the good news. And on a light note, you know, even lighter note, she's been doing really good, as I've mentioned. Um, as I've also mentioned, she's done her last day tomorrow which is really good as well. Brings a smile to my face, and I'm sure it kind of makes my dad happy as well. And um, I can't wait to have a home so he can joke around with her and uh, maybe even attend my youngest cousin's wedding in a, I want to say, a week or two. It's mid-October, mid-late October. Can't wait. And um, after this long road of recovery for my mom, I'm happy to say it's just about done. And I will see you guys around. Adios.